Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 27 uh, video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to remove RDS session host server in Windows Server 2019 from remote desktop services. So uh, in last few videos we have installed and configured remote desktop services. We have created uh, we have created and uh, added few session host server in our, our RDS farm and now in this video we are going to remove the session host server from existing RDS farm so there, there will be multiple reasons why you want to un uh, remove or like um, uh, get off the RDS host server from a RDS farm uh, might be you have an issue with that particular session host server or might be application got corrupted or my, might be server having some uh, OS related issues so there there can be multiple issues so in this video we are going to focus on removing RDS session host server from uh, remote desktop services farm so here is my demo environment which I am going to use in this demo to show you how we can do it so the first machine is going to be a Win2K19 DC01 which is my Active Directory so you can see Active Directory and DNS role victim info role dot local is my domain so here you can see Active Directory and DNS role is running on this machine and click on local server you can see Win2K19 DC01 my domain name is victim info soul dot com and uh, IP address is 192.168.0.201 so this is my domain controller and DNS server and the second server is going to be a, our Win2K19 RDS which is our connection broker server so if I go here you can see Win2K19 RDS server and if I go to local you can see the server name domain and all information and now if I go to remote desktop services you can see here from a deployment servers you can see Win2K19 RDS as a going to be a co uh, connection broker and RD web access server so this is going to host a connection broker and also you can see SH01 and 02 is going to be our session host server which is the next so you can see here SH01 um, this is session host server when uh, uh, this is joined in my domain and IP address is 192.168.0.203 so let's go here you can see here Win2K19 SH01 and if I go to remove role and features you will see what is installed here on this machine so remote desktop session host so this is our primary session host server and this is our secondary ses uh, session host server which is Win2K19 SH01 you can see session host server so this server we are going to remove in this video from our RDS farm so let's see SH02 you can see Win2K19 SH02 and you can go here and see what role is installed on this machine remote desktop session host server so this is good so these two session hosts 1 and 2 is going to be our session host server and 0 2 is we are going to remove from uh, our RDS farm so we have created one RDS farm called prod in last video and you can see both the session host server SH01 and 02 is added in this um, farm you can say and now if let's verify how it's working uh, farm is working so we have two client machine win uh, win 10 th01 and win 10 uh, th02 both is our thin client machine so i'm going on my thin client one and if i go here and type mstsc and type vrds vrds is our red robin uh, dns entry for our session host service which is pointing to our both session host server so do it from second machine also so msdsc vrds and i'm going to log in so you can see if you want to see the red robin you can do the n s look up to VRDS you will see this is pointing uh, pointing to 192.168.0.204 and 203 and both is my like 
and as lookup win two k nineteen sh zero one. 203 is and as uh, sh0t is 204 so both are pointing vrds is pointing to my uh, dns entry which is configured with this ip address sh01 and 02 so this is good and now you can see we have logged in uh, from both machine to v uh, vrds which is our virtual infrastructure session host server so now if i i go here session host server and you can see we have logged in user 01 on sh02 and logged in uh, user 02 and sh02 so both are logged in and now we are going to remove this uh, session host server which is sh02 from our rds farm so do it the first thing we need to make sure all the users are logged off from the respective server so i'm going to uh, like you can send this message to user please log off so users are going to be log off from the session host too so I'm going to send this message and now if I go here you can see uh, please log off so users is basically going to log off from here you can type whatever message you want to customize so you have logged off from here and then you can disallow to any new connection to session host server and now basically you have logged in all the users from session host 2 and you have disabled the new connection to come on se as session host 2 so this is good and now you can go to overview now you can see both the servers is here so go to prod your collection again and you have to remove this uh, server from a collection so I'm going in task select the server and remove server RDS session host and I'm going to select my second host server which is SH02 and I'm going to remove it from this uh, collection so you can see it's in progress and the server has been removed and now this server SH02 is no more in production for the collection so we are good to go now I'm going on my collections and now if you go to collections and see the hosted host servers you need to go task and remove RD session host click here and then you can see the server name and you need to mark uninstall the RD session host role and move it to uh, right side and then you can go ahead and click next and you can see this is going to uninstall the selected uh, role which is uh, session host role from server this win2k19 sh02 and restart remote computer as needed so it's going to uninstall the role session host server role from this sh02 and it's going to remove it also so let's wait for it so you can see now it's uninstalling and soon this computer sh02 server is going to reboot so it's still uninstalling so now you can see its restarting status is changed to restarting and you can see uh, sh02 is now rebooting so post the installation or post this reboot the computer is going to come back and it's going to say like an uninstallation is going to be successful so we have to wait for a few more seconds here to get this machine boot up so it's working on features so it successfully uninstalled the session host role which was installed on this machine so now it's applying computer settings so I'm going to hit control to Dell I'm going to log into this machine and verify if the session host role has been uninstalled. So now you can see from RD's connection broker the installation is on installation is successful and now we can go ahead and close this. And now if I go to overview, you will see session host servers one is removed from deployment servers. So this is good. And now if I go here, all server we can delete this uh, remove this server from the all servers from the dashboard of the server RDS connection broker also so now you will see everything is healthy good and now if I go here you will see this machine is not going to have a session host, uh, session host role anymore so if you go on manage and let's verify you will see no RDS role is installed on this machine remote desktop services is installed on this machine so this is good and now the final thing which we have to make sure our collection is working fine and it's having no issue so you can see I have logged in from 
user 01 and now I'm going to log in from user 02 and make sure RDS is working so I'm going to put my credential here and I'm going to connect and now you will see I have logged in and if I go now and see the RDS connection broker you will see both the user 01 and 02 is logged in on SH02 so this is done so we have successfully removed our session host server from this RDS farm and the last thing which we need to make sure we have to make sure we have deleted the false DNS entry from our uh, red robin dns entry from our dns server so if i do ns lookup now vrds you will see it's resolving both the session host ip address so i'm going to my dns and make sure you remove vrds with the correct server so it's mapped with the 204 which is our session host 2 so i'm going to remove this and now if i go again and do ns lookup you will see VRDS is now resolving 203 which is associated with production uh, session host server which is SH01 so this is good and now if you don't want this server anymore you can go ahead and you can shut down this machine and if you wish you can go ahead and if this is a virtual machine you can go ahead and delete this machine from a disk or if it's a hard, uh, physical machine you can go ahead and remove that uh, physical uh, server from a network and decommission it so so basically this is all how you can uh, remove this RDS session host server from uh, RDS remote uh, remote desktop services farm on Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye